Okay, hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to add sound to your applications. It's not all too difficult, but okay, here we go. First of all, start a new application, single view application. I'm going to call this sound. I'm going to keep it just for the iPhone, but you can have it for either if you want. Um, okay, we're going to go to. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, documents, create. Okay, there we go. Now we have sound. Let's go ahead and create another one called new group sounds. Okay, then once you have that, you're going to want a sound file. So we're going to go finder. Open that up. Sound. Okay, then you want to find where you put, where you saved this. sound, click and drag in the sound file into the folder and click and put it under your sound folder there. Make sure it's create groups and add any folders and sounds collected, click finish. That added the little mp3 in there now. Then we'll go ahead and we will go to, okay next thing's next, and then you gotta go click your main project build phase, link with binary objects, click add, and type in AV, and let's see, AV foundation, click add, and I'm just going to keep it there for now. Then we can go back to our sound view controller dot H, click import, I'm just going to do this. A V Foundation slash A V Foundation. Dot H and end that. What is it doing? Oh, forgot the F. Okay, after that, let's create open bracket. Type in A V A. Okay, A V audio player. and I'm gonna call it sound semicolon then we want to create an action IB action IB and we'll say play Kay. then a semicolon and we're going to go ahead and save this. Then you're going to want to go into your .m file. And under your .m file, you want to synthesize, uh, not synthesize, uh, create your IB action again. Action sound. Oh no, it's play, sorry. Play. Open brace and brace. And 
let's see all right one thing I did forget in your dot H right under here go I int clicked semicolon and save that we're done in here then under your IB action play type if clicked is equal to zero open brace clicked equals one semicolon then you're going to hit enter Sit in there a few times just to break this up you're going to want to type in n s u r l n s u r l i'm going to call it u r l equals brace n s u r l file with path brace whoops brace NS string string with format and then you want to go at quotes percent at slash and then whatever your sound file name in this case mine is police siren so p then dot mp3 end quotes comma space bracket bracket ns bundle main bundle end bracket space resource path and then three close brackets and semicolon then you're going to type in ns error we're going to call it error and sound because that's what I saved it as I think no yeah sound equals brace brace a v audio player allocate and the brace space in it with contents Right here, this middle one, it with contents of URL, name it URL, and for the error, put and sign error. End, end. Then type sound dot number. And number of loops and this will just say how many times do you want it to loop itself if you do negative one that means it's it's going to keep going over and over again if you do zero it's going to play it once if you put one in it's going to play it twice this is the number of times it plays after it plays the first time so I'll play once and then i'll play again if you have number of times i'm going to go with zero okay then you're almost done then you're going to want to say, oops, wrong one, play, sound, play, end, and then again, next, no, oh, whoops, that's not next, it's supposed to be sound, then 
set title. At, I'm going to put loading, and I'm going to put stop for state. UI control state. Normal. And end. Now I don't know why it's giving me this start. Let me go back and check, make sure. I oh, it's not start, it's play, sorry. Hold on one moment. Okay, I got it working now. Um, I'm going to start and then back in the H file, um, you need to make an IB outlet. Sorry. Um, you want to add IB outlet, UI button, start in your H, and then in the M file, you let the start will then work. Then you want to go to your storyboard, and we're going to create a button. I'm just going to name it play and then when you click your uh, view controller then you'll see there's your start button in your in your play so I'm gonna just double check so we want the play one sorry I'm still getting used to all this play, drag it to play, touch up inside, and then we're going to hit run. Okay, now it's loading it. And there it is. So if we, if we hit play, and it plays the sound. But it will only play it once. So that you're going to have to do work on with the repeat and everything, how many times you want it to do that. And that's how you do that. Thanks for watching.